hockey coach. So what's it like on a, a Friday when you find out that uh, the NFL sack leader and uh, leading candidate for NFL defensive player of the year is going to have to miss this game and possibly the next one? Well, it hurts. It's unfortunate. You know, he's obviously been a guy who's been leading this team, leading this defense, leading our position group uh, week in and week out. So to not have him out there obviously hurts. Um, but it's a next man up league. It's going to create opportunities for other guys. And, uh, you know, as we saw when, when uh, Nick Chubb went down for some time, guys had to step up. And it's no different in defensive end. we got to find a way to replace him the best we can Sunday. Thank you. Thanks, Mary Kay. Nate Ulrich has our next question. Coach, can you tell us about how you're going to go next man up? Um, what, what are you going to be doing in that spot? And as much as you can tell, and who, who do you think is ready? Who do you have confidence in to, to carry the load? Yeah, well, you said it there right at the end, to carry the load. To carry the load will be, you know, OB, uh, Adrian Claiborne, and Porter Gustin. Those would be the guys that, you know, we've been playing all year long. Um, all it means for them is just more reps. You know, we uh, – <clears throat> Really, it's hard to manage those guys' reps at times. And so now to be able to, you know, give Porter Gustin those opportunities or give Adrian Claiborne those opportunities outside, uh, you know, on the right side where he's comfortable playing, move uh, OV around left and right, just the ability to do all that. You know, I'm kind of excited to see these guys do that in their spots, their roles um, against a quarterback that, that has been known to hold on to the ball and give us opportunities. So I know these guys are very excited about it. And uh, but like you said, it's going to be a heavy workload for those three guys. Thank you, Nate. Jeff Shadell, you're up. Hey, Coach, did you kind of <clears throat> suspect this was going to happen with with Miles? I mean, he didn't practice Wednesday or yesterday. Did have you been preparing all along to be without him? You know, it's 2020. Um, if somebody says that they're not feeling good, you know, you, you start to think the worst. But um, unfortunate, he's not going to be with us, and. Um, you know, that's what it is in 2020. You start hearing about someone not feeling good this time of year, whether it's cold, flu, symptoms, anything like that. Um, it's just natural for anybody just to start thinking about coronavirus. So, Scott Patrick, you're up next. Coach, have you talked to Miles? And if you have, how's he doing? Is he crushed that he won't be able to uh, play Sunday? Yeah. Um, when I found out he was going to be unavailable, you know, I just said, I hate it for you. Um, you know, he's hungry. He stays hungry. He's, uh, he texts, yeah, when I got the news, it broke my heart that I wasn't going to be out there with you guys. And, um, you know, it is when it, someone like that who this is all he knows is being out there leading the team and just to take that away from you in a split second, you know, it, it may be in a weird way, maybe a learning lesson for him just as far as how important it is to him being away, you know, to always stay hungry. And, um, you know, he, he is very upset about it. And, um, you know, he's made a game-changing play in all six wins. So I don't know how you replace it, but, like, do you tell guys, hey, somebody's got to step up and make that type of play for us? Yeah, I was going to send a letter to the NFL to see if we could play with 12 guys make up <laughs> for the loss there. Um, but somebody's going to have to step up and make a big-time play. You know, as Coach said, to win this game, we have to win the turnover margin. And uh, Miles has been a big part of us creating turnovers, takeaways. Uh, we, as a defense, have not done that the last two weeks. So I know as a whole, our whole unit is excited about getting back out there and trying to get the ball out. And uh, this is an offense that has given the ball up some. So we're going to attack. We're going to go after it and, and try to make that game change and play. Thanks. Thank you, Scott. Marla Reidenauer has our next question. Uh, yeah, Coach, we've seen a few flashes from Porter Gustin, but I mean, I don't know lately. Uh, has he Is he improving even though we don't notice? You know what I mean? Absolutely. Um, He's a guy that can't help but to improve because he works so hard. And I've spoken that about him before, you know, whether it's his off day or uh, his nutrition or his film study or his questioning of the scheme. Like, it's always trying to get an edge with him. And uh, so, again, like I said a second ago, excited to see him uh, with his opportunities, what he's going to do. Uh, you know he's going to play hard. You know he's going to be around the ball. Um, but now he'll have more opportunities and drop back pass to rush the passer and, and be able to show what he's capable of doing. So very excited about that. And – as far as your run defense, do you, I mean, do you have to, I mean, any, I mean, I, that, you know, that's almost the overlooked part of missing miles. Do you have to do things differently or. 
Yeah, you know, the run defense, obviously scheme, you know, getting us in the right calls um, when we think they're going to run. And this is a team that's going to try to establish a run in the first quarter. They've shown that. And uh, if you take it away from them, then they tend to to, uh, to lean on the pass game. So, you know, we, we work all week as coaches on scheme and try to find an edge in that regard to be able to stop the run. But, you know, as far as personnel, yeah, Miles is good in the run too. So Porter, Claiborne, whoever it is in that role, is just going to have to fill in and do their job one of 11. Thank you. Thank you, Marla. Mary Kay Cabot, you have our next one. Uh, yeah, can you just uh, talk a little bit about how uh, Adrian is maybe getting a little stronger now that he's uh, crossed the hurdle from the hip injury? And, and have you seen him kind of maybe even in practice, you know, that you can tell he's kind of getting back to his old self a little bit? Yeah, I feel like, you know, he did recover. And um, he just, again, with him, he hasn't had the opportunities to show it either, you know, for whatever reason. And so another guy that is going to be able to play 30, 40 snaps so, and, and to show what he's capable of doing. And Adrian's the ultimate pro from the time I got here. All he does is work, stay prepared. You know, you could say he's a little bit frustrated with his reps early in the season, but some guys in front of him and trying to figure out his role. But we were all working through that together. And, um, you know, so he'll have a, a much bigger role this week. And I know he's excited about it. You mentioned that this morning. So, yeah, we're, we're excited to see him too. Thank you. Thanks, Mary Kay. Nate Ulrich. Hey, Coach, is there anything you can tell us about, you know, how do you talk to the guys about this? It, you know, I don't know if it was a virtual meeting or whatever where you first got to address this with them and then just, you know, how they took it, your message. What, what, is it, what has the day been like in, in delivering this news to your, your position group? Yeah, you know, we uh, – Coach addressed that in the team meeting just like he has with any – any issues that have come up this year as far as COVID related issues. And um, just like he said to the team, just like I said, and using Nick as the example, uh, it's next man up. You know, it's no different as if Miles rolled his ankle in the last game and, and was not available this game. So you have depth for a reason. You try to have quality depth for a reason for times like this. So it'll be a collective group effort. And But yeah, it's a weird day when you, you know, get the news that one of your leaders, starters, potentially defense player of the year candidate is not going to be available. 